All right, so now as you can see, I'm back with the uh, H-swap. I have taken the pan off, I've taken the uh, girdle off, and actually, I am extremely happy to say that looking at these bearings, throw focus, they look great. There's a little bit of dirt on them, but I'll get that off before it goes back in. Um, it just looks great. I mean, I'm saying that this thing actually looks like it was probably rebuilt recently. I mean, the crank looks good. Everything about this thing looks good, which in some ways it actually scares me because I uh, makes me think that someone has been in here that maybe didn't know what they were doing because I think the cylinders were not honed in the way that they're supposed to. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm going to have to send it to a machine shop to be honed, which will be fun. But I have, uh, I've taken the uh, cover for the one of the balance shafts off. But this one is the one that's gear reduction and you have to make sure it's all in line. But I have everything marked as you can see. So, but, uh, so right now I'm taking off the oil pump to be able to get the uh, crank out. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. I could go from this side also, but either way, um, it's going to be a pain. So uh, I don't think it really matters which way I go, because it's going to be no fun either way. So that's the way I'm choosing to go about it. But uh, if you were to be doing this on your Prelude, uh, to remove the oil pump, of course you have to remove all the timing equipment. And uh, this is just held on here with three 12 millimeter fasteners, two bolts and one nut. And uh, then this shaft, the balance shaft has a gear on it and that's held in with a uh, 12 millimeter nut also. So you just take that nut off, gear comes off, there's a little washer that you have to line back up more than likely and put that on there. And then uh, that is set to go. Of course you want to have gaskets ready. I have to take this nut off too and take the gear off. But then uh, after you get done doing that, then you just got uh, these 10 millimeter bolts that are all going around here. There, one behind the dipstick. Back there, uh, right there, and uh, there. And of course you want to have the pan off when you're doing this too. But uh, it helps. I'm going to pop the rear seal out in a minute so that I'll have uh, some slack to pull it out. But yeah, I mean, in the car, this wouldn't be fun to do at all, but with it out of the car, it's not terrible. All right, now as you can see, I have the oil pump off, I have the water pump off, I have the balance shafts out, both of them. And at this point, the more I look at this, the more I consider doing a balance shaft delete. Um, it costs money, but I mean, I'm down to a bare block right now, which is about the only thing that keeps, I think, most people from doing it is... The fact they have to tear down their block. I actually like balance shafts. I think they're pretty cool that they uh, put them in the engine. But it'd be also cool just to have something to get rid of. So we will uh, see how that goes out. But as you can see, the crank is free right now. So uh, I'm going to be lifting that out of there here in a second. So I'm going to call it a night. As you can see, I got a... The head over here, all the pistons, the balance shafts, everything marked, um, and the block is stripped down. Now the next step is uh, probably going to be getting the money to um, get this machined, or actually I need to bring it somewhere because I don't have the tools here to, to uh, test it, but I need to actually see what the cylinder taper is and see what the bore is, make sure I don't have to buy oversized pistons or anything like that before I just start getting stuff honed and everything so I mean like I said I think I said what's unfortunate about this engine is that it has a fiber reinforced metal cylinders so you can't just take a hone to it you gotta actually follow this very specific procedure on how to do it and uh, it sucks I'm gonna have to bring it to a machine shop to make it happen but so be it. Uh, it'll probably be best to check the head and block and everything for warpage too, but 
Yep, that's where I'm at right now. So I'd like to uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked it and you want to keep waiting for this to actually happen, which hopefully be soon, like I said, I'm going to be trying to give you a full rundown of rebuilding this thing and whatnot. So that's my goal. Uh, and actually right now I'm trying to decide whether I want to delete the balance shaft or not. If you guys have any uh, input on this, you can say so. And I thought the balance shaft delete was more expensive than it is. It's actually only like $130 from KS Tuned. And uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking about putting money into that to make it happen. Just to remove some uh, variables. I guess you'd say. So, um, again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you want to keep following this build, subscribe. Uh, it will be a work in progress, but I'll keep updated as much as I can. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.